Hi guys, Harry here. So, like all things, there's a start. And this is kind of the one month later video of the Cyclo A8. And let me tell you, I've been through quite a journey. So, as you know, as soon as I had this device, the first thing I did was install a four terabyte hard drive. After I installed the hard drive, I went a bit crazy and I dual booted Bazite with Windows 11 and installed a whole heap of games. Since then, um, I've been playing a bit of Battlefield 6, some Silk Sound, and a couple of other games that I enjoy. But my issue was that I just found it really difficult in terms of playing Battlefield 6, because Battlefield 6, as you know, needs secure ROM or secure boot, I should say. And every time I wanted to play this, I would end up uh, having to go into BIOS, enable secure boot, and that stops Bazai, and then it just got tired from me. Yeah? So I ended up saying, if I do go back to Windows 11, what's out there? What can I do? What can I use and make this as feel as Steam OS like as possible? So look, this is what I've ended up with, and I want to give you a quick run through of the apps I've got installed. So this will be a two-part video. The first part is just me showcasing what I've got working, how it looks, pros and cons. And the second half is uh, some of the things, how can you install this? And it will be a quick guide around how to get it working for yourself if you like this kind of thing. So look, first of all, I got the one game launcher. And this is, I think he calls it the Mew build and it's a live wallpaper, it's sexy as hell. And, um, and you can see my, uh, GIF arts are, well, uh, logos are GIF arts, so the, I can't, I can't, I'm not sure if you can see, but look, the live action, yeah, looks so cool. Look at the sign and Witcher 3 looking good, and you can see I'm Battlefield 6. Anyway, this is still running uh, Windows full uh, experience mode, so it's running, and I have NEFC running as well, and I'll explain how to install that, but that means that one game launcher launches first before the Xbox 360 app, but let's go into that. So let, let's, a couple of things. I've got games that run directly from the Xbox 360 apps, games that use additional launchers like um, Witcher 3 and Battlefield 6, and even emulation working. So let, let's quickly run through that. So let's click it in a game. And one of the things that has improved, and you'll see this, when it's up and running is the suspend and resume. Uh, Windows has been working on it. And look, this isn't perfect, right? Sometimes it starts up, sometimes it goes into the second screen, so I have to go in, but there it is. And what you'll see is, you know, straight away, game's running up and fine. I've got my overlay working, so you can have a look at some of the stats. And it just runs perfect. So let's get this up and running and I can show you the suspend and resume functionality working, first of all, which I really wanted. And it does work wonderful. So this is using the sleep, so not hibernate. So there's pros and cons. I know the sleep isn't perfect at the moment, but there is something I'm working in the background uh, to actually make it work. So why I wanted to show you the sleep and resume was that because I made some tweaks to the registry. Um, and in the second half of the video, I'll show you how to do that. but. Let's have a quick look. So you can see, see it's running, running really well. Uh, if I just close this off, it will just go quiet. And then I'm hoping uh, if I restart it, straight back into the game. Now, this is not what happens by default. So if you try this on your own device, what you'll find is that you'll have a lock screen and then you'll have a password or a sign in screen and then you will go back into the game. But for me, it's literally just off, on, yeah, off, on. So that's one of the things I like. So if I just close this up now, let's go into something like um, my emulation stuff. So this is obviously, uh, I've rooted it via Steam, so you will boot in. And the reason I don't buy Steam because um, ESDE, uh, which is the emulation front, really works well with the 
control settings, so I don't have to worry about uh, my controllers not loading up correctly. And look at this, bang, it's just going to search for all my games like normal, and it's a bit slow because I have loads of games installed in here. Um, at one point, I was going to do a review of, and I still will do it, I'm working on a emulation guide for the Z2E Hemocyclo A8. So if you have a look at this, uh, let's go into my one of my favorite um, PS3. Uh, I've got loads of games, obviously games I own. Uh, let's just quickly boot something up just so you can see this working. And actually, funny enough, I haven't tried um, if the sleep mode works with this. I'm not, uh, what's it called? Um, very confident, but let, let's have a go and see what it does do. But the key thing is um, the Z2E and the MSI Claw A8 is fantastic and I mean fantastic for emulation I would say it's emulation king so whether you got this in the Xbox LIX or the uh, Legion Go 2 it's fantastic and I will do a guide on emulation for this chipset uh, later so you can get it up and running but if you do have any questions let me know let's just get into this game I think I played Alison a bit so look at that loads perfectly we're gonna have a quick look at um, how it runs on this chipset as well. So, can't remember. Um, have I got CPU boot on? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Just want to click on that. Let's go, go to my quick settings. So, uh, oh, messing around. So, what I want to do is go to my quick settings. And one of the apps I got installed. So, we talked about one game launcher. I also have Tooth and Claw installed so the reason for this is because I, I know some of the Intel uh, software isn't supported however I can control the CPU booster enough so I'm going to disable the CPU boost because for this kind of game and emulation I don't think I need it and that should save my battery life so let's kick off with Allison and let's go Allison press start let's continue game uh, let's load it up so like, see what it looks like in game well there you go running quite well let's try this then sleep well, that quickly turns back on wow i did not expect that yeah anyway we'll be covering how you achieve this by yourself but yeah a couple of things then let's just close this down so we talked about uh, my fancy look, we talked about the live arts, we talked about the fact that I've got a couple of um, extras installed, so let's go to the extras. So uh, we have one game launcher, we have uh, the Claw and Tooth, the Steam Good Bribery, I think I've got something in the background. Let's close down emulation station, go back to this. Um, and yeah, like, look, it just works here. Yeah? So you, you got, you close down Steam, and it's fabulous. Um, is there anything else I want to show you, case you? Yeah, so in a later video, I have been working with the developer um, of Tooth and Claw to actually show you enhanced sleep, but that'll be on a later video and that'll be something cool. For now, um, let's talk about the A8. I just love this device, yeah? Um, and I love it because it's really comfy. So just to show you how comfy it is, um, I always tell people the aggressive look looks mean, but these grips are so comfy to hold yeah um it just feels so good and right but i know uh quite a few devices are running this chipset so the zte but if you have ever heard the story of uh, goldilocks and the three bears this is the just right device and what i mean by that is that i know it's subjective but when you could talk about the xbox lix being smaller screen lighter you can say it's too small the Legion Go 2, on the other hand, is bigger device, much more heavier, bigger uh, screen, the 8.8 .8 inch, and you might say it's too big. This is a device that's just right, yeah? So this is my Goldilocks and the Three Bears device, if, if you want to make a story out of it. But yeah, look, I'll, I'll stop there. Uh, the next half of the video is going to be really around some of the tweaks and how you can achieve this yourself. But if you like these kind of videos, please do hit like and subscribe, and let me know what you think of this device. Let's quickly cover the required apps. So the one game launcher 
and Tooth and Claw, you can search directly on the Microsoft Store and install directly from there, so no issues with them. The One Game Launcher will be your user interface when you boot up. And Tooth and Claw, I know it's not specifically made for the A8, but it's useful that from the game bar widget, you can quickly turn CPU boost on and off, um, which I've covered in many videos is really useful. The last app that's required is the any FCE, which you'll have to download directly from the GitHub. Please make sure you get the latest version because that's the only one that's working with the 1GL launcher. And what this app does, it replaces or allows you to replace the Xbox app with the 1GL app. So you go straight into the 1GL app at boot up. So there's three steps in enabling you to get to the same features as me. The first step is to create a local account. And I am warning you that you will be disabling all your security. So make sure you don't have any important information on this. So you're making this a, a game console. So click on sign in with a local account, type in your pin and password and make sure when you enter your new account details, you leave your password field blank. Once that's done, you've created the local account. Step two, now we're going to remove the lock screen. So running Windows R or press Windows and R button and type in the uh, folder set, uh, systems app. I'm going to link you in the descriptions and you're looking for a folder called lock app and you're going to right click that and you're going to rename it to uh, have the ending with underscore backup. So this is reversible, but this gets in rid of the annoying lock screen. And the last step in the description, I'm going to give you lots of command prompts and this is going to get rid of the annoying signing in button. So even when you don't have a password, Windows still gives you that annoying button that you need to press, which stops you from opening uh, back into your game after sleep. Now, unlike me, don't put all of them in one go. You want to put them one by one, hit command and enter and make sure that they're running successfully. Yeah. Uh, once they've all run successfully, you would have achieved the outcome so like myself and you can try this out load a game turn sleep on and off and you'll see that it's quick and you'll get rid of all your lock screens and sign in 